Hello and welcome again to another episode of The Joy of Painting with me, Mr. Martin. You've joined me on a lovely sunny day again and we're going to do some more painting right now. So whereas last time we worked on canvas, today we're going to be working on just a little bit of card. And whereas last time we used gouache paints, today we're going to use some watercolour paints instead. So I've got my one and a half inch brush, which I'm going to use here, and then I've just got a smaller um, pointed brush as well, just to help me add some detail in there. They're the only brushes we're going to use today, we're going to keep it nice and simple. I also have a range of watercolours right here, which I'm going to use a selection of. First of all, I just want to say thank you to all the people who joined in last time, because I saw some really amazing pieces of artwork that you did based on mine. And I hope that you enjoy this week's too, and I hope you, you join in as well, because I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Other than our paint brushes and our paints, the other things that you will need for this is just a little bit of water, uh, just to make sure that you are um, adding some water onto that watercolour paint. And you might also need a little bit of a palette just to do some mixing. And I've also got uh, another sheet of paper here to the side just so that I can do some testing on there as well. My fiance is an illustrator and she works with watercolours a lot. Uh, she's a lot better than me, uh, but that's not going to stop me from having a go. And she tends to use this, uh, she has a little bit of paper on the side. Uh, just to test her colours before she puts them onto her actual piece. So I'm taking a page from her book, literally, this is a page from her book, um, and we're going to see if that helps me to come up with something as well. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off with my big brush, uh, and I'm going to just get some backing on there. Now today I thought it would be nice if we did a little bit of a stream, I think, going through a forest. I know last time we did a bit of a lake in a forest, uh, and I do want to work off of those techniques that we used last time, um, just so that we're not diving into something completely new and, and abandoning the techniques that we learned already. Um, so as we started with last time this week, we're going to start off with the background so that we can build upon it. Now I'm going to use a sort of a, a medium to dark blue, I think. So I'm just going to wet my brush first. I'm going to get some of that blue on there. gonna give that a bit of a test yeah see that's that's the type of blue that I want so we're just gonna start by putting that all over our page now with this piece what I think I'd like to do I don't think I want to cover the whole page I think what I want to do is I want to leave the sides blank a little bit so sort of have this um, sort of brushed effect along the sides um, just so that it, it gives it a nice little bit of a, uh, a brushed border almost. And more blue, we're going to make sure we've got our blue going all the way down. Now as I say, my fiance uses watercolours a lot. I do not use a lot of watercolours whenever I do art, so they are a little bit of a new thing for me. Now. That could mean one of two things. That could mean uh, they are something I've never done and after today I will realise that I want to do them a lot more. It might mean that they're not for me. and <laughs> This may end up not looking as good as I hope. But I'm hopeful. And I think in life it's good to be hopeful no matter what. Because even when you're not sure how something's going to turn out, you should always just try your best. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try my best. And actually, I'm pretty happy with the results already. I'm liking the look of this blue. It's a nice looking blue. Uh, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the bottom here, just to finish it off. I kind of like how it's sort of fading at the bottom. It's a bit deeper up top, and it's a little bit more faded at the bottom. And again, I like that. It's, a mis it's not necessarily a mistake, it's not necessarily something I intended to do either, um, but it's something I like, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep that fade. Sometimes in life things happen not the way you necessarily expect them to, but they work out for the best. So I'm going to wash off my brush now, uh, and I'm just going to get that to be a bit dry. I'm just going to wipe it on my paper to dry that off a little bit. And now I think I'm going to sort of build the banks around my 
uh, around my stream there. Now if you imagine the stream coming through sort of down here, just trickling down, a little, little river coming down. Uh, there's going to be a little bank on the side and a little bank on here and maybe some trees up there as well. So we're going to add those now. Now for this I'm going to use a sort of a forest green because I think that would work well. And again, if you don't have the exact same colors as me, that's absolutely fine. Just use what you've got available to you. And I'm just going to add my banks here. And we'll get our other bank on there as well using our same forest green. Just making our shape there and then bringing the land out. Okay, now I think we're gonna to swap to our smaller, finer brush and we're gonna add some trees on these sides up here. So I'm gonna go for a dark brown here. I'm just gonna wet my brush first of all. I'm gonna go for a dark brown Let's go for, let's try this one out, shall we? It's all about trying stuff out. Get your brush wet, wet that paint, get it on your brush. I'm gonna test it out on my piece of paper. Yeah, I'm liking that, that's a nice brown we got there. So again, just like last time, we're just gonna take our brush and we're gonna do a fine line down like that. And then we're going to add a few more. I'd like to have another one right here. Just a little tree right here. And it doesn't matter if they're perfect trees. Not everything in life is perfect. So we're just going to add a little bit more paint. And we are going to add some more trees. So I think I'm going to have some trees on this side. Let's have a really big tree here. Really big one there. The grand tree. Uh, and then we're going to have another one. Let's have another tree in here. And let's have another one. Let's have some more in the back as well. Now this looks like these trees are flowing. But don't worry. We're going to get that fixed before the end of this. So now that we've got our bark for our trees, we're going to just wipe our brush, clean our brush off. And... Then we're going to swap over and we're going to take a green. Now I'm going to do a slightly different green to this floor here because I want them to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to do a slightly lighter green. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. Let's have a look. Oh, in fact, that's, it's not, it's not really lighter, but it is a different color and I do like it. So let's go for that one. And you remember last time how we did our trees? They're like little zigzags. So we're going to do the same now on these trees. Starting small at the top and going bigger on the way down. Now because this is watercolour, you'll notice that you can see the brown much clearer through there. But as it starts to mix together, it starts to become a little bit less distinguishable. Uh, but it still looks really nice. So we're going to add a little bit more water. And we're going to add more as we go down. Get those trees nice and big at the bottom there. And onto our last tree. To get this finalised. I like to add a little bit at the top as well. A little bit of greenery sticking out the top there. You'll notice I'm just kind of doing little flicks as I'm coming down as well. Just add a little bit more of a naturalness to the tree. Now we're going to focus on the stream itself. Now in this I'm going to imagine that our stream is coming in from this way here. It's coming down and it's coming down here, down to here. Now what we want to do first is add some stuff in our stream because streams are never really just water. Underneath you've got sort of dirt and rocks. So we're going to add a few rocks into our stream and we're going to add a stream line to our edges 
so that it looks a little bit more realistic as well. So first of all, we want to make some rocks. So I'm going to get my gray here and I'm going to just have a go at that. I'm going to test that out. So here we have our tested gray. Now that's a little bit dark for me, but I think if we thin it out a little bit, it should be okay. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to use my palette just to, to thin, it out, thin it out a little bit. And then I'm going to add some rocks in here. So I think we're going to have a, a big rock in here. And we're going to add a few more rocks as well. Just here and there, just plotted all around the place. Doesn't really matter where they go. Because rocks just sort of go where they want, don't they? It in no means has to be perfect. As I always say, as long as you've done something, then you made a piece of art. As long as you've given it a go, you've made a piece of art. Now I'm going to use some really light blue now with some white as well, just to put this shoreline in here. And all we need to do is get our blue, just make sure you've got the right color first of all, which is what I'm doing here, and I'm happy with that. And then you wanna just follow your shoreline down, and it will mix with the blue uh, a little bit, but you wanna just make sure you're just adding a little bit of a layer there to your shoreline as you come down. And you can do it around the rocks as well and even under the trees up here. Okay, now we're gonna go through that again, and right where the blue meets the white, we're gonna have a very thin line of white, because this will just add that extra depth to it and that extra detail that is gonna make it look really, really nice. So let's add a thin, thin layer of white. Now what you also want to do with your white, white is really good to show sort of the, the splashes and the waves in the water there. So just to show the flow of the water, because at the moment it looks like it's a really still river, we want to just create some sort of little flowing bits. Now with these rocks, the water is obviously going to be crashing up, so we can have some crashing up sort of bits here. It's, it's coming up onto the rock, up on here as well. And then we just wanna have like a flow of the river. Do an initial flow down. And we're flowing the river down. It's coming left here, coming right, and it's coming down here, out into our little lake at the bottom. Add some more blue in there as well, because we don't wanna get rid of it completely. So we're gonna get some blue in there. In fact, it might even be nice to add a little rock in the middle there. We don't always have to have rocks to the side. We can have a rock in the middle. Why don't we just add one in there? Sort of a, a jaggedy rock there in the middle. And there you go, we've created a slightly more stream aesthetic with that. It's not looking quite as calm as it did to begin with, and I think that helps it to look a bit more like a stream than a lake, a nice calm lake like last time. Now, just before we finish, we're gonna add a little bit of greenery down here. Um, and I'm actually gonna add some little bushes in. Just plot lots of them along there. Just want lots of bushes along there. And you'll notice I'm just doing sort of strands coming inwards, because that helps to create that sort of bush, shrub sort of feel. And then just to add that little bit of extra detail, we're gonna add some flowers to these. Now, I don't just mean your typical tulips and things like that, but we're gonna add these bushes having a little bit of bloomage on there as well. I think I'm gonna go for a nice little yellowy orange color here. Now what we're gonna do with this, we're just gonna dab it. We're just gonna dab around these bushes. And we're not gonna stroke, just gonna sort of tap it with our brush. And what we're gonna do is we're just around the top here, around the top of our bushes and in the middle, 
kind of leave the, the bottom a bit clearer there, but we're just going to dab it, just tapping it with our brush. And what that will do is just add a little bit of color to it there. Just adds a nice bit of color. Gives the impression of little flowers. And there we are. A nice finished piece of artwork. A nice watercolor forest with a stream and some nice little bushes in there as well. You know, I'm fairly happy with that. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen when we started. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a mess or if it was gonna be a masterpiece. I think maybe it's somewhere in the middle there and that's absolutely fine with me. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching today's episode and I hope you join in at home and you come up with your own masterpieces or messes because it doesn't matter. As long as you put your paint on that paper, then you've come up with a masterpiece in my eyes. So from me, Mr. Martin, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.